Killing spree. What's up, YouTube? Real Super Mario back again with another analysis video. Now, this analysis, this one is, this is one of my personal favorites. This one is close to my heart. This one is the Legend of Zelda Wii U trailer. Um, I've been a Zelda fan since Twilight Princess. Uh, actually, well, I, I, actually, since Majora's Mask. Um, because Majora's Mask was the first one. Uh, I kind of skipped Wind Waker, but then I played it again on Wii U. Because, you know, I realized what I missed. Um, I played Spirit Tracks. I played Twilight Princess. And I've been hooked ever since. And, um, so, I had a lot of hype for it. Now, I didn't overhype myself like I did last time. Last time I overhyped myself with Skyward Sword. And, uh, I was caught in that loop of kind of being disappointed at the graphics. I did not do that this time. And I am glad I did not. Because the graphics don't disappoint at all. You know, I didn't expect hyper-realism. You know, because that's not what Nintendo wants to do. Nintendo wants this. And I like it. I freaking love it. I, I mean, you know, it, it just it seems like you're playing in this like artistic world. You know, the the, the high res cell shaded look is awesome. I mean, personally, I like it. A lot of people are like, you know, they promised us this and they gave us this. Here's the thing: the Zelda and okay, the Zelda tech demo is a tech demo. Alright, they've done this I don't know how many times. Like they did this with um they did this with um back in the N64 days. They gave us this, this awesome looking tech demo and Ocarina of Time and um Majora's Mask looked different than that tech demo. So I mean just that. It's a tech demo. It was to show how powerful the Wii U was. It is not to show what the the Zelda game on Wii U is going to look like. So, alright, now that that's over, um, we can get on with the analysis of this trailer. So, it's not really much of a trailer, it kind of shows off, you know, the, um, the vastness of the world. You know, he kind of, like, I do like the way he did it, where like, oh, I'm gonna show you the world of Zelda. Snap. And then it just, like, you know, pops up, like, that was, that was cool, with a nice touch right there. Um, you get to see the vastness of the world, you know, and he kind of says like, whoops, I didn't mean to mute that, I should have mute that. Um, yeah, you know, so he shows you the vastness of the world, you know, and they, they even show you like, you know, basically how powerful this engine is. I mean, because, you know, the first picture, it's like, oh, it's all light, you know, and everything's all bright, and then there's a shadow. Like a cloud, you know, you know how, you know, a cloud goes over the sun, casts a shadow, it actually casts a shadow over the field. So I, I didn't notice that the first couple times until I looked at it again and I was like, oh damn, there's a sh there's shadow effects from clouds. Like, see this shows you just how powerful the Wii U is. I mean, cause you look in the background, you've got like that, those, that fog over there, that fog moves. You know, the grass, each blade moves independently. The leaves on that tree way over there move, you know, like, there's a lot of, there's a lot going on here. And if this is the active engine, like, this is the regular, like, in-game, this is gameplay engine footage right here, this would be the best looking game on Wii U. You know, I mean, it's pushing the Wii U, you know, I see this shows that the Wii U is not just two Wiis taped together, the Wii U actually has some power, you know. Um, you know, it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty awesome, you know, and then the shadow goes away, you know, in the next clip, the next picture here, I'm just waiting on him to get out of the way, okay, so, alright, uh, in this clip, in this picture, now that, you know, Mr. Ayanuma is gone, we can now show you, uh, I can show you kind of the depth of this game, I mean, because you look at it, you can see way in the background, the uh, robotic uh, monster creature that attacks you is kind of just walking the background. You know, he was just talking about how, yeah, it looks peaceful now, but you know, you can easily get yourself into trouble in the field. And I'm thinking this is Hyrule Field. You know, if you look, um, 
out there you can see like in that little cliff area uh i wish i had something that can like highlight that but out there in the cliff area to the right right now not the mountain area but right there you can see it's kind of like a a cliff or like a ledge of some sort you see it looks like little people on the ledge uh, you know there's a mountain in the far right that's it don't know where that mountain is um, it could be where the Gorons live we don't know uh, there's a volcano in the very far distance you know that's probably Death Mountain you know there's a waterfall right here and it just shows you the draw distance of the Wii U and just imagine if you can actually go to all those locations you know just imagine like Skyrim or GTA level you know you know wandering around here you know I mean look at the draw distance like come on Jeez, now just imagine that's that's gotta be miles and miles away that you can see and if you look directly you know like right off the center to the right you can see what looks like a city and a tower you know could that be Hyrule you know that could be Hyrule right there you know I mean I don't know but I'm, I'm this is definitely Hyrule Field like you know this is definitely Hyrule Field that's probably Hyrule right there in that, that little cloudy kind of foggy area you know because Nintendo is known for censoring things with like fog or clouds but they do it with Pokemon all the time and um yeah so we move on to the next part of the trailer you see right here the robot creature spot the creature spots you and starts shooting and so here we get some more you know Nintendo showing off basically this is this is basically you know EG Ayanuma showing off his awesome Zelda engine you know by having like smoke effects like you know the grass is burning like if, in the next picture you're gonna see that grass is on fire you know so it's not just like oh we're just looking explosions no there's fire and smoke you know the big people like the little sheep herder that was in the background back there He's gone now, so that's active, like, people are actually NPCs and just active. So it's not going to be like, you're going to get jumped by a monster and NPCs are just going to be chilling. Like, no, they're going to run for their lives. Because, you know, stuff's going down, you know. And you're, so, um, next, you know, we see the, we get a better uh, clip of this creature coming in. You know, he has different color lasers now. First they were kind of a orangish color, now they seem to be blue. And this is a clip of um, what we think, who we think is Link on the horse. You know, now, um, I'll, I'll get into that a little bit later in the trailer. We can a clear picture here of this creature. Here is the person on the horse. And here's the creature, the, the the robot scout creature. You know, I'm gonna call it a scout because it looks like it was scouting the field looking for this person. You know, look at this right here. Some more showing off. You know, the creature breaks the bridge, and you see uh, particle effects. You know, like little pieces of wood, little Jesus. splinters. Water is being you know smashed around. There's actually still um, embers of fire from when it was shooting a few seconds ago in the air. This is particle effects. Like, Nintendo is showing off right here. Nintendo is like, look at this. this is, you, don't, don't count out Zelda. Nintendo is saying, don't count us out just because the game is it looks cell shaded It still has some power in it. You know, I mean, and that pro they proved it with the particle effects, the embers, the wood, the water. This is going on at the same exact time. And so the Wii U is actually, the Wii U's processor and memory are remembering all of this going on at the same time. You know. Then we get to see, alright, so then we get a nice picture here of the creature. 
This is a nice picture. This is a nice close up of it. It looks like um, it, it looks like uh, I want to say it looks like a guardian. I mean, because if you look at it, it's like it's got grass and like moss growing on it. You know, like it's been sitting for a while and somebody woke it up. You know, and uh, so maybe maybe this person woke it up when they went somewhere or somebody woke this thing up to find this person. We don't know. You know, we'll, I mean, we probably won't know for months and months to come. But um, we also get a shot of, you know, the person on the horse who may or may not be Link um, without the the, uh, the cloak. And we see, oh, whoops, go back. And we see, you know, this person whipping out some arrows here. You know, arrows seem to play a pretty big role here, uh, which is one reason why I think this might not be Link, because you know, even though in the first the first bit we saw from Skyward Sword, Link had no sword, but this person doesn't look like it looks kind of like Link, but this person does not have a sword or a shield. They just have a bow. You know, this could be Zelda, you know, uh, or, or, you know, I mean, because this person does look feminine, you know, this, this looks like a girl, you know, they have, they have ponytail, long hair, feminine features, this could very well be Zelda, Zelda could be a bit more badass in this game, you know, and, you know, she just fails to defend herself, and of course you have to find her, you know, um, they, they will give, okay, they will give Zelda, the Asuna treatment from uh, Asuna from um, Sword Art Online, where she starts out as a badass and then eventually, you know, she becomes damsel in distress. Um, but you see her, you see uh, this character whip out some arrows. You know, these are, uh, and she has several, this person has several different types of arrows. You, know, you see this bag, and um, these ones look like uh, Roman candles. You know, I guess bomb arrows. You know, kind of like ones you see Hawkeye use in Avengers. Just boom. You know, you so you see her, uh, this person, <laughs> blowing up. I'm just going to call it Link. Uh, we don't know it's Link, but it's easy just to call him Link. So you see Link, um, you know, take a couple shots at the, at the monster. And then we get to see the big one. You know, of uh, Link jumping off of Epona with the uh, super uh, super arrow of Doom. And now here we go. We see the uh, Link light character. You know, they could be Link, could be Zelda. I don't remember Zelda having pointed ears though. I might be wrong. But um, you know, we see this person, you know, taking aim with this this Uber arrow. And then letting loose, and that's really it. Yeah, you know, that's pretty much it. So there's a lot we can really glean from that trailer. Um, you know, just just going back in, you know, and just talking about it. You know, the game looks like it's going to be awesome. All right, game's gonna be awesome. You know, um, the thing of this is, you know, we need some story details, Nintendo. You know, you're killing me here. You know, so um, yeah. You know, I'm thinking, thinking of some interesting gameplay mechanics. You know, like um, maybe they'll have a system where you craft arrows, you know, similar to something like um, like um, Dead Island, where you have to craft weapons. You know, they might have a system where you have to craft arrows, where you get specific items, and you know, you tie them to your arrows to do specific things. Because the super arrow is clearly tied to the end of a normal arrow and if you look at um you know this picture here you can clearly see that um you know there's a quiver of arrows but there's nothing attached to them they're just normal arrows you know so maybe you know you you um you know maybe they just made it like that so that you can see arrows or maybe you make a specific item and attach it to an arrow you know, and you just go at it like like that. Um, you know, I, I don't know. It's now. Hopefully, they reveal more because they said 
that they will be doing more stuff through Wednesday, which is today. Um, they'll be doing more E3 stuff, so maybe they'll be revealing more, you know, hopefully. Um, so that's about it. That's about all I can really glean from this. Um, so just go ahead and like this video subscribe shoot me a comment give me your feedback what do you think do you think this person is link do you think this this link is a girl if it's not link do you think it's zelda who do you think it is you know what do you think is going on in this trailer go ahead and give me your feedback uh subscribe and keep it real with the real super mario